Hi guys, welcome. I'll show you how to install Microsoft SQL Express 2019 and how to allow both SQL authentications and Windows authentication. To do that, you have to have your SQL setup. Like me, I have already downloaded it. It's here. How to get it? You can open your web browser. Mine, I use Chrome. You can search Microsoft SQL Express 2019 download. A beautiful link from Microsoft Office website will show up. Click it. Then, straight to download. I'll suggest and I very much recommend please download it from Microsoft official website. Okay, let's start installing it. I'll open my setup. For me, I'll just use basic. So you can see now it's downloading a package. For this setup, installer it means you should have your internet, your computer connected to the internet. Yes, guys, I skipped uh, a download downloading part a little. So let's continue as it's completing downloading install package. And the good news, uh, Microsoft says that SQL Server image for Linux is already available. So you guys hop in there. Okay, the download was successful. Now it's installing.
yes the installation has completed successful you can see the details instance name uh, SQL administrator uh, this actually this is a user account that I have logged in in, in my PC objects it's my computer name features version and whatsoever so you can see I can connect it now I can customize my installation or I can install uh, Microsoft Management Studio here uh, okay let me show this it's one of the important tools that we we'll use uh, to log in into our Microsoft SQL server So we'll uh, skip this for the setup to, to download. Then we will continue. Yes, guys, uh, I've already downloaded um, SQL Server Management Studio. You can see my setup here. I can open my file. Let's install it. Setup completed. 
let's close and let's close our previous SQL server which was completed you sure want to exit yes because I'm done okay so as we have already installed SQL server we've seen how to install it we have seen how to download the setup how to install it then let's see how can we allow the two types of authentication which are windows authentication and sql server authentication by default microsoft sql server will accept windows authentication let's see okay so as we installed uh, SQL Server Management Studio which we use to do all the management stuff in SQL Server let me pin it to start okay. so I can easily click it and go about it can see uh, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio has opened server name GX Express authentication is window authentication so let's open it by using window windows authentication yes we are in now So inside here you can do all the stuff you want to do. You want to create a new database and do other stuff. You can do so. Um, the following is how to enable uh, two ways of authentication. I'll go to, I like to click on the server name here, instance name. I go to properties. Um, I go to security you can see by default Windows authentication mode is enabled you can click here to enable both SQL Server and Windows authentication mode and you can specify which auditing you need failed logins only or you want successful logins only or both failed I prefer this one to keep audits of all logins in my SQL server after that you can click OK some of your configuration changes will not take effect until SQL server is restarted you can restart it by right clicking the server name and restart yes yes we are good now so uh, in order to test that we can log in by using SQL Server uh, authentication let's create a SQL Server login I'll get user known as laser fish then click here and say password I put my password my amazing complex password then uh, because we are just need to test if it allows SQL Server authentication I want uh, my password won't follow in uh password policy i'll just disable this and this user actually i'll give him database creation law yes only this one what else to give him this my friend okay 
So let's log out and log in by using ESCO server authentication by our users, our user laser fish that we created. Okay, let's choose ESCO server authentication. Tada, we are in. So guys, thank you for watching this. I'm glad you watched. I'm happy we have completed through our tutorial. Thank you very much.